Thank you very much. My name is Hassan Sisse, Gambia National Museum. I'm happy to talk about the history of this very famous Gambian settlement called Bakao, found in Combo Senme, what the elders call Combo to Babango. Now, Bakao has always been a prominent name in the history of the Gambia. To start with, the earliest Europeans to arrive in this part of the world were hosted and welcomed in Bakau as far back as the 1400s with Adviso Gadamosto. According to the Portuguese archives, he was the headman of the Mansa of Bakau who welcomed him and supplied him with fresh water as he sailed from Portugal to enter the Gambia River in search of gold. That was in 1456. Subsequent explorers, Richard Jobson and Diego Gomez, also encountered Bacow and they mentioned it in their in the journals. Now the British also were welcome in this community. In fact, the summer home of the British government was established in the Cape in Bacow as early as 1818. It was the moment the British arrived here, they knew that Banjul in the summer was a terrible place, flooding mosquitoes. So from end of June up to beginning of October, the governor and the Europeans will migrate to the Cape in Bacow to escape you know, the you know, flooding in Banjo. Okay, and the house still exists. In fact, it used to be you call State House Number Two. Now, in the early 1930s, the Royal West Africa Frontier Force, SPARAX, was established in Bakau, what is usually called the depot, and it is still the army barracks. And throughout the Second World War, I mean, the whole contingent of the Gambia Army was stationed in this place. Another very important aspect of the history of this settlement in, as far as Gambia is concerned has to do with religion. When said Mati was in dispute with his brother, Mahmoud Neri, he escaped and came to the governor, Saro. Saro asked him, well, I cannot hide you in Banjo, in Batos, okay? But I will talk to the headman of Bakau. He's my friend, if he can give you in a refuge. This was in 1893. And it was the people of Bakau who welcomed him, said Mati, the son of Mawa Jahuba, the great Islamic jihadist. And that's where he died, in fact, in late 1893, and was buried there, in the now Sambi Hotel. The mosque, according to the sources, was consecrated in 1948 by Sheikh Ibrahim Nias, the leader of the Tijania Brotherhood in Senegal. Just to point out the very, very important um, role in Islam that this town has also played. For many years, Baga also used to have a chief. Okay? And Jaga Kamara.